religious scriptures written thousands of years ago were never meant to be read literally. A literal reading of any of the scriptures, whether it's the Quran or whether it's the Bible or the Torah, it is actually going to lead you into misunderstanding what the message was. All these stories in the Quran, especially the prophet stories, have messages. The story of Abraham is a story of sacrifice. What does that mean? It doesn't literally mean that you go and do what Abraham did. What it really means is that you as a human being have to understand the importance of sacrifice. This is a very human thing. Animals don't do that. Sacrifice means that you do today, you sacrifice something today which you want or which you like for a better future, for tomorrow. Like a mother telling her child that you should do your homework before you go out and play with your kids. What is that? But all the time the child is sitting there doing his homework, he is sacrificing. This sacrifice is a, is a very human thing and we have to understand that. That's the message we get from Abraham. Every prophet has something to teach us. Moses is a story of law. If you're going to organize a society, you need laws. What is a law? A law is something, a rule, which every human being has to follow equally. That's what a law is. And therefore, if you want to constitute a society, you must have laws. What are those laws and how do you come about those? Those are details, but the principle that you need to constitute a society around, around, around laws is what Moses teaches us. This is what the messaging that we learn and we extract from the Quran or from any other scriptures, because they give us these principles. And that is what we have to understand, not literalists. Literalists are people who, in the Quran, you will find that kill them where you find them. And that doesn't mean you go about killing people. What that means is that there was a war at some time. And at that time, when these, uh, these were peasants, they were sheep herders, and they had an army advancing against them, wanting to kill them, wanting to take their wives, their children. And then the God tells them, go and fight. You must fight to defend. That is how we have to understand the context of these verses. We understand also that in the Quran, there are allegories and metaphors. Metaphors because complex items have to be understood by the audience, which at that time were desert Bedouins, unlettered, people who did not have books. We have to understand the Quran is the first book in Arabic. So these were people, this was a message they were sent down to people who had no books, who did not read and write, who did not compile libraries. They were simple people and they needed simple messages. So we are told that uh, Muhammad met God, uh, he went on a horse, a winged horse. What does that mean? Do we look for the winged horse? How big were the wings? These are metaphors. The real metaphor, the understanding of it is that there really wasn't a horse because the horse is used as an example, of, as a metaphor to say that whatever it was, you will not understand that. It is undescribable. So the metaphors of heaven, the metaphors for hell, these are concepts beyond us. And it's being told to us that we give you metaphors so that you can realize that at some stage after life, you will understand these, but not now, not today. Your vocabulary, your languages, you don't have the vocabulary to understand them. And therefore, it is futile trying to ask these questions of what is heaven, what is hell, how do we describe it? These descriptions, whether there are virgins in there, whether you get uh, rivers of honey, and, and uh, why would a body need, a, need honey? You're, you're, not need, you need, you're not going to be famished. So, why would you need it? Why do you need pillows? The Quran says you will have large pillows in, in heaven. What does that mean? It's a metaphor. It basically means you will be comfortable. You will not have pain. You will not have fear. You will not have the difficulties that you have in, the, in this life. That is what you strive for. And it's a metaphor for saying the heaven itself is a metaphor. If you follow these principles that we teach you, honesty, justice, equality, mercy, compassion, your life on this earth will be better. That's the real message, and that's how we have to understand it. And that is the message of the Qur'an. Who is this Mullah of today who fills me with guilt, who drains me of confidence, who robs me of pleasure, who sends me to death? I have a brain to think. I have a heart for compassion. I have the book to read. I have science to explore. There is no compulsion in religion. There is no woman or man unequal. There is no human without dignity.
I am no longer guilty. I am confident and proud. My faith is honesty. My creed is justice. My goal is equality. I am a free Muslim of today. Are you?